When I left off, I was checking the loudspeaker in the cabinet. I've since removed that. Let's go back and uh, double check DC resistance. And you can see the fill coil is uh, definitely open. These old tabs are impossible to uh, pry up, at least with the uh, hand tools that I have. So I'm going to uh, just use my spring tools uh, chisel. Okay, there we have it. Let me finish getting the output transformer out of the way. And one more quick check of the fill coil. And I applied some heat to the pins here as well. So uh, let me go ahead and snip these conductors off. Okay, there we have it. We'll spend some more time on the output transformer later just to uh, double check and also uh, understand what the turns ratio is. You can see the humbucking coil looks like it resides on the bottom side or around the outside parameter of the field coil. And you can see it's in series with the voice coil. And if we go from here back to this point, it should be our voice coil DC resistance, not impedance, 3.2 ohms, signifying a 4 ohm loudspeaker in theory. So uh, that was typical for the uh, voice coils to read 3.2 ohms of DC resistance for this period. We'll just double check here within about 3 inches or so from the uh, fuel coil. Make certain that uh, we don't have a fix, and you can see definitely still open between 13 and 14 meg. You can see looking at the construction of the uh, loudspeaker, everything is uh, welded together. So the uh, first thing I need to do is get the cone out. Instead of trying to loosen this up around the uh, gasket, and the surround. I think I'm going to try to uh, salvage the surround and the gasket. And since this cone already has a crack in it uh, right here, which is be an easy repair, I think I'm going to uh, try to cut around the uh, cone in this area and then reattach a new cone back to the existing where it attaches back to the uh, surround. Not sure how this is going to work out, but uh, let me go ahead and give it a try. I was looking to see if I had something I could use as a guide. I think this may work. I'm just eyeballing this. It won't be perfectly in the center and I'll have to do some trimming, but I'm going to just trace around the outside edge. Here's where the uh, cone is already broke and cracked. This cone is extremely uh, fragile, so I'm not sure this is going to work or not. Try to add just a little bit of light. You guys may be able to see this. I've got two fasteners that hold the old-fashioned spider in place. I'm going to see if I can break those loose. And then just lift the spider and the voice coil with the remaining center section of the cone out from the frame. that loose and let me disconnect or cut the uh, voice coil leads. Well, I got this part out successful. Again, this thing's extremely fragile and you can see the uh, cone is uh, broken this area, but this would be the section of cone that I tried to uh, rebuild and then save the uh, surround. And that's in much worse shape than I thought. So maybe not doable. Just set this off to the side here and look at this a little closer. 
it only took about uh, three or four tries. Again, if you measure, you'll notice the uh, rear section here has a smaller diameter than the uh, front piece of the iron. So that was the giveaway on the direction that uh, I needed to drive this out. So no press was needed. And I should be able to pull the uh, fill coil out. No, excuse me, I got off camera there for a minute. I got that one connection there that I need to uh, desolder. And then we can uh, wind a new fill coil. So I think this is a good stopping point for today. Just wanted to see if I could get this thing apart. So you can see the uh, humbucking coil that um, just a few turns of wire around the uh, field coil. I'll put a link here to a pop-up as well if you guys haven't seen how this works. I actually did a video some time back playing around with the uh, humbucking coil and how the uh, polarity of the humbucking coil with the uh, voice coil cancels out some of the uh, hum products. Wasn't a perfect solution, but uh, pretty stable and solid engineering for the day. I'll look to see if I can reuse this form factor if not, I'll uh, reproduce one out of uh, cardboard and or fish paper.